Hello world, welcome back to my channel. I am Sahil and we are developing an e-commerce project using Laravel 10. And in previous video, you have already seen how I completed this admin panel using uh, Filament PHP 3. Now from today, uh, I'm going to start working on end user panel that is customer panel. And for that, first I will install some uh, frameworks, uh, okay? So let's start with the Tailwind CSS first because I will use Tailwind CSS to design all our pages, okay? So let me first uh, sign out from this admin panel and let's uh, go to the home page. So here you can see this is the default welcome page of Laravel 10. Now next uh, let's open <coughs> tailwindcss.com this is the official uh, website of Tailwind CSS. Now click on get started and then click on framework guides. Okay. And here click on Laravel. Now here you can see some uh, commands. So uh, this command is to create a new Laravel project. And I'm not going to use this command because we have already created Laravel project. Okay. So I will, I'm going to copy this command to install Tailwind CSS. Okay. Now open your project. So this is my project uh, inside VS code. Now let me open a new terminal. <coughs> now in a new terminal, just paste the command and press enter. Okay. Now it will take some time to download the Tailwind CSS. So now here you can see the Tailwind CSS download has been completed. Now we have to follow all the steps carefully. Now let's copy this command and execute here now here you can see this command created two file post css.config.js and tailwind.config.js files so mostly we will uh, see uh, this file tailwind.config.js file okay we will work on this file actually now next uh, we have to copy these three lines and go to tailwind.config.js file and paste inside the content and next we have to copy this line and go to resources directory then the, then this css directory then open this app.css file let me reduce the height and now let's paste the uh, paste it here save and uh, next we have to run the dev uh, server using npm run dev to compile all the assets of tailwind css so i will do this later now next i will install another framework that is based on Tailwind CSS actually. So let me open uh, PreLine.co. So actually PreLine UI is an open source set of pre-built UI component based on the utility for Tailwind CSS framework. Okay. So uh, I will use some of the component of this uh, framework in my project, in my e-commerce project actually. Now from here click on get started and uh, click on framework guides and go to laravel and from here i will copy this command to install this uh, framework so let's paste the command and press enter now this uh, framework is installed now we have to follow some uh, actually we have to modify the tailwind.config.js to use this framework so we have to copy this line and go to tailwind.config.js file and paste it here now again we have to copy this and paste inside the plugin and next we have to copy this line and go to the uh, resources directory then this js directory you will find this app.js uh, sorry app.js just paste below the bootstrap and save now i think all done now we can start the npm run dev to compile all the assets okay so you can see uh, npm run dev is now running in the local host now next what i will do is i will close all the file for now and now next i will install livewire 3 okay so in a new ter uh, tab i will write livewire 3 and search in google you will find this uh, website livewire.laravel.com so this is the official website of livewire 3 uh, actually and from here click on documentation and then click on installation now you will find this command so just copy this command and go to your uh, project open a new terminal 
and paste the command press enter to download the livewire 3 into this project so it will take few seconds to download so just wait okay so here you can see the uh, livewire 3 uh, installation completed now next uh, let me check if we need to follow any other uh, steps so uh, we can uh, publish the config file of uh, livewire 3 but it is optional so i am not going to publish this and uh, next uh, let's create a layout file so to create a layout file uh, livewire 3 provides a command so in search box let's uh, search uh, layout layout and here you will find create a template layout uh, open this page and uh, just uh, copy this command and paste the command here and press the enter now it creates a layout file inside this resources directory and inside this views directory you will find a new uh, folder created components and inside this layout directory uh, we see this app.blade.php uh, file so this will be our layout file okay so i will do some modification into this layout file so here uh, we have to include uh, the app.css and app.js file and also livewire style and livewire script okay so for now let's uh, modify this uh, default page title to my channel name that is decode mania and just below this title uh, i will use white uh, directive and here uh, i will include the app.css file so this is inside resources directory then uh, css directory and then app dot uh, css okay resources css and app okay so let's copy the same thing and after comma i will write resources and then here i will write uh, js and then app dot js now just below this uh, i will also include live wire styles okay now just below this uh, slot i will include live wire scripts okay and i will also keep this slot into a main tag and then uh, inside this body i will give some tailwind css class okay so here i will use bg uh, slate bg slate 200 and in dark mode in dark mode i will use bg slate uh, 700 i think uh, this is enough for now let's uh, save this file and close now let's uh, create a new component okay using livewire 3 so let me go to first resource directory and then this view directory so right now here you can see this is the default welcome page of laravel 10 so i'm going to delete this page first so select this one and let's delete now if you go to here and reload then you will get uh, that uh, view welcome not found okay now next i will create a component using livewire 3 so if you go to the livewire 3 documentation and click on components then you will find this command just copy this command and let's come here and paste the command now first i will create a new component for home page okay so here we have to write the name of the component so in my case i will write home page and uh, when i press enter then it creates two file okay so let me show you if you go to this views directory then there is a new directory created uh, with name livewire and here it is home hyphen page dot blade dot php so this is the view of the uh, component and if you go to the app directory and then this live wire directory you will find the uh, live wire class okay and in this class you can see there is a method render and in this in inside this render method it is returning a view that is already created inside this live wire directory that is uh, home page blade.php okay so this is like a controller uh, controller so here we uh, here we will write all the business logic okay so for now uh, 
if i go here and reload then still it is showing uh, view welcome not found so we have to go to me go to this routes and then web.php file so let's remove this uh, default route and then here i will write route get and then for home page just use slash and here i will write home page and scope resolution operator and then class so here i am using uh, a full component uh, route so you need to use the livewire class here and you have to define the route okay and make sure to import this class here like this now if you save this and go to the browser then here you can see nothing is showing because uh, this view file let me go to the uh, okay resources then views and then live wire then this home page blade.php so you can say see there is nothing here just a uh, just a empty, empty div so here i will use h1 and here i will write hello from uh, live wire live wire 3 okay now if i save this and go to the browser then here you can see the message hello from live wire 3 okay now let's apply some tailwind css class to this h1 uh, to make sure that tailwind css is working or not so here i will use class and then uh, i will use text uh, for excel and text color red 500 now if i reload here then you can see text size is now increased and the color also changed to red so it means tailwind css is also working uh, fine okay now you can see the background color of the page is showing um, uh, actually gray dark gray so actually uh, by default uh, my my system my operating system has dark mode enabled so uh, tailwind css automatically detect uh, uh, dark mode from the operating system and uh, apply all the dark classes of tailwind css okay so to disable the dark mode for now you have to go to tailwind dot sorry tailwind dot config dot js file and here i will write dark mode and here i will just pass class now if i save this file and go to the browser then you can see it is now switched to light mode okay that's it for this video in next video i will show you how to design all the pages of e-commerce project using a uh, tailwind css and preline uh, framework okay so thanks for watching this video if you like this video then hit on like button and please don't forget to subscribe my channel